This is LU decomposition. So what we're going to do here is decompose this matrix A into two matrices L and U. Now the thing about L and U is that they are the multiplied together A we will get A. So L times U. Now uh, just as a remark they are so far comprised of undetermined coefficients L is a lower diagonal matrix uh, with ones along the diagonal, okay, and it has under the diagonal uh, three undetermined coefficients x, y, and z. Um, likewise, z u is uh, above the diagonal, and on the diagonal it has uh, coefficients. It has coefficients a, d, and f or as I have them as A, D, and F. That's the important distinction between the two. What we're going to do is, using these undetermined coefficients, we're going to multiply out L, L times U in terms of these uh, undetermined coefficients. Let's do that. So, if we multiply out, let's actually go back up here a second. I have a I sort of skipped ahead. So, what I'm going to do here is actually multiply them out. So, L times U. So, L U equals so the top row is simply going to be A, B, and C. So uh, if we look at the top row, 1, 0, and 0, and so essentially, so it must be uh, each a column A, B, and C. This is, this is sort of straightforward enough matrix multiplication. Okay. The second row, so we have x, 1, and 0, so a times x times a times 1 times 0 times 0 times 0, so that's just ax. x times b plus 1 times d, so that's bx plus d. And lastly, cx, oops, that should be an x. C X plus E. Bottom row is quite a bit to it. So we have A, Y, and Z. So we just have A, Y here. Okay. So just be clear about that. A, Y, and Z. A, or sorry, Y, Z, X, Y, and, sorry, Y, Z, and 1. A, 0, 0. So we just get A, Y there. Next uh, one, B times Y plus C times Z. Okay. And finally, the last uh, row and column. So we're looking at this one here. We get C times Y plus E times Z plus F. Okay, so there's a good bit of work there. And really, I can't think of any mnemonics that you could use, a quick way of remembering it, other than the top row is ABC. Um, but just to sort of, just sort of uh, crunch it out, work it out. So there we have it again there, and we're letting A equal to L U. So necessarily what we're going to do is match the coefficients. Now I've sort of gone for A, B, and C here and I've also called it my matrix A. Uh, let's just disregard that. For Actually I'm just going to change the name of the matrix to M just to sort of make it n not confuse matters. Okay. So I'm going to just change the, matrix, uh, the name of the matrix to M just not to not confuse matters. So A necessarily is equal to 1. If we just match the cells B necessarily is equal to minus 3, matching those cells. C is equal to 1. Okay, so we've got those so far. Okay. Now, AX is equal to 2. We already know that A is equal to 1, so necessarily X is equal to 2. Okay. AY is equal to 2, necessarily Y is equal to 2. Again, pretty straightforward operation there. Next page, or the next thing, so what we're going to do is we have all of this sorted out 
it's the remainders that we have to sort out these uh, four cells here and we have some information already so we know that BX plus D is equal to minus 5 okay now D is equal to 1 okay because we know what B is we know that B is 3 and we know as X is uh, we know that B is minus 3 and we know that X is equal to 2 so BX is equal to minus 6 BX uh, that's minus 6 plus 1 equal to minus 5 so necessarily D is equal to 1 something similar this time round uh, we know that B is minus 3 and we know that Y is 2 and therefore BY is equal to minus 6 okay so BY plus DZ is equal to 2 okay now uh, let's just be clear about something we found out what D was just up here D was equal to 1 so necessarily Z is equal to 4 okay next line uh, C Z C X plus E this one here that's equal to 4 now we know what C is we know it's 1 we know what X is we know it's 2 CX is equal to 2 therefore necessarily by process of elimination 2 plus E is equal to 4 necessarily E is equal to 2 good stuff uh, CY plus EZ plus F this is probably the longest one CY we know to be equal to um, uh, 2 because that's two ti 1 times 2 okay E we found out earlier was equal to 2 up here we found that Z was equal to 4 so that's equal to 8 okay so um, that altogether that's 10 so this is equal to 10 plus F is equal to 11 therefore F is equal to 1 so there we have it there A or I'm gonna call this M now actually just to sort of for the sake of clarity M is equal to LU so this is the lower diagonal here and this is the upper diagonal here and that is um, the LU decomposition now in the next presentation what I'm going to do is uh, solve a system of linear equations using this LUD composition. So I'm going to stop this presentation and just start the next one right here.